We are back again. Uh, I'm looking at some uh, some more dashboard uh, YouTube studio statistics to see what's happening with the channel. We've got um, one more subscriber. So doing these videos is obviously helping the channel grow uh, a little bit, the daily, well, almost daily. It's, as you can tell from the uh, new digital clock, 11.28, 9 or something like that, and then 30th of November, Saturday, because it's got the green with the green day there, Saturday. Sunday's red for some reason. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I got so busy and tired yesterday. What happened? I actually could have done the day 4 a.m. Um, but for whatever reason, I got... Oh, I know why. Because I was doing the actual video. And I've got to edit that video today in 50, 50 frames per second interlaced. I've got to convert that to 60% speed. Um, I did some more chat GPTing with Chad yesterday. Got some advice on him, it, AI, to, uh, well, the best approach to take to slowing down video and then fixing up audio so the audio is going to match the video. I can't visualize how that's going to work exactly. Like my mouth moving slowly, the audio coming out. Oh yeah, yeah, so they say it's pitch correction. So it's going to be a slower, interesting. I'm dying to see how uh, DaVinci Resolve 18.6, which is what I'm running. Uh, DaVinci Resolve 19 is out, but my computer's so old it won't actually work. So <laughs> I'm using the old version of DaVinci Resolve until I can upgrade my computer and then move everything forward. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm dying to see how the 50i gets translated into 30 frames per second and then the audio working as well. So apparently it can work, so I'll, I'll give it a go. Uh, just as a very, very quick update to just keep the, the ball rolling, I guess, on videos going out for day 4 a.m., day 4 p.m. That's what this one's going to be. Um, there's not much to update because I'm doing a lot of videoing and editing. I can show you a bit of the editing process when I get started with that. Um, so I'll do that in the next one. This is uh, very quick and dirty. Just while we're here, very quickly and dirtily, um, take a look outside. It's spring raining like crazy. It's been raining for the last two days, pretty heavy in, pa in places. Uh, right now, it, it, you can see the raindrops on the lemon uh, lime tree at the front there. So still overcast, lots of clouds. Low hanging and ready to uh, rain again, I think. So we'll see how we go. Uh, what else is happening? So the the views have dropped down again. Look at that. So they're all down five, eight, five, nine, whatever. So while the subscriber count has increased a little bit, the views were hitting the 80s and 70s, and then it suddenly dropped off to three, eight, five, nine, seven. So lots of um, uh, yeah not lack of interest let's say so which is understandable because this is you know it's, it's not really informative what, what i'm doing here just um uh getting some advice from chad and then doing the steps and then reporting on that so it's not super exciting but I th i'm hoping after this exercise i can work out a bit of a style and then concentrate properly on the actual story that i want to tell yeah, so we'll see how we go. Um, there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll do editing and videoing and upload again for day 5 a.m. and then later day 5 p.m. Okie dokie. See ya.
Oh, so you're still here. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, see if we can get a little bit more uh, news your way then uh, as you're wanting to get more updates. Um, what is today? Saturday. I can tell from the green clock right there. I love that clock. I've got to tell you, it is so cool. Love it. I would have paid a lot more for that, but um, there you go. Um, what's happening? So I'm just loving life at the moment. Signum's going well. Um, getting more and more interest from my recent CV resume update for IT. So there's more activity there. Getting some job interviews lined up too. Uh, just in the last week, I guess, to to uh, a couple of emails, two phone calls which is more activity I've had, um, God, in the whole year since uh, June 2023. So, yeah, it's good. I'm looking forward to summer. It should be nice and stinking hot. Um, I've got a fan. I've got aircon. I'm ready to go. I've got a fridge and a freezer. Everything's ready. I've got my, my little studio set up in in the shack. But the only thing is the studio is still over overly representative of stuff. I gotta cut it back, but I don't know how. Like, um, I do know how, but there's so much that I wanna keep, and yet everything <laughs> that I wanna keep, I don't use. Not that often, anyway. Yeah, so, and I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna have to cut back on some of the expenses in my life, like my car, my motorbike. I, I use the car more than the motorbike, but I love riding the motorbike, but I don't use the motorbike that much, so. Yeah. I got rid of three skateboards for the same reason. I love the skateboards, but I just wasn't using them. So I sold them and let someone else have the enjoyment that I also kind of enjoyed for a little while. So yeah, um, I'm le leaning in on more of Ali Abdul's uh, material on YouTube as well. Um, he's a kind of productivity person. And being a project manager, I love the idea of being eff efficient and doing things really, really well and, um, yeah, um, profitably and timely and so forth. Um, yeah, money is not something that really motivates me, but the um, I, I enjoy what it provides, but I don't actually enjoy the idea of having lots and lots and lots of money. I just enjoy the... Um, the way that it enables you to do things, I guess, travel, uh, do things that you want to do. Um, but uh, at the same time, project management, business, etc., kind of revolves around the, the money aspect. And time can be equated to money. So I guess in that way, time and money are linked. But in my mind, time is much, 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 much more valuable than money. Money is like an enabler to do more fun things in the time that you've got. Yeah, I don't know why I added that, but it just popped into my head. I think because Ali Abdul is uh, talking about, you know, setting up businesses from nothing, zero to a million dollars, selling it, another business for a million dollars, selling it. And then currently, I think he said he's earning seven figures. That's probably revenue, but seven figures in another business over the course of maybe five years. He's done very well. I don't know, a bit longer, 10 years. He's done very, very, very well for himself. There's a lot of people that have done that. And the common denominator is that ability to focus and get things done. He's got some very interesting stats around people and uh, getting things done. 85% of the people that enroll in his productivity courses who pay like thousands of dollars, 85% of them don't actually do the things that he's asking them to do in the course they've paid for. 15% of the people follow through on what Ali Abdul is asking them to do to help them become more productive. 15%. Of those 15%, some of them are just choosing things which aren't going to make them money or be successful. So of those 15% who actually follow through majority of those people are going to fail because of the choice they've uh, they've made in, in business because business is very much around planning but it's also in execution but it's also got a large degree of luck 
Uh, I know that from first-hand experience and anyone who's run a business knows that as well. There's a great deal of luck involved. It's being prepared and ready to leverage off the opportunities that arise through luck that you get that uh, sweet combination of success. Um, but most businesses fail and I think it's because most people can't execute reliably, consistently. I was thinking about that the other day when I water my garden I have these strange thoughts about the uh, photosynthetic, well the process of photosynthesis. So two hydrogen atoms are used for every molecule of water that hits um, a plant because there's system one and system two photosynthesis systems at play and they each require one hydrogen atom to go through the cycle of the process and so what we're doing when we water plants is we hydrogenate them and they then use the hydrogen atoms to use in the photosynthesis process to then give themselves energy to grow and that happens uh, on a atomic level every i don't even know what timing this happens at but it, there's it just continuously occurs all through the day while there's sunshine then some other process kicks off at night but my point is that it's that consistent effort that is automatically processed through the system of photosynthesis and that's the thing that we lack as humans is a consistent process that runs consistently with least resistance or effort and the 15 percent of the people who who manage to execute reliably consistently with the process will have no other outcome except success with a large degree of luck um, and so that's what i'm going to be trying to concentrate on as well is working out um, least resistances to making youtube videos uh, and, and making the whole process as efficient as possible so that when I get back from work there's least resistance to get started to continue growing the, the channel. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to happen but I think I'm on the right path in terms of getting a, uh, a studio set up where I've got the cameras ready to go, computer ready to go, everything's set up, microphones are done, headphones are there, all the, all the stuff I need is in front of me and then I can just hit record and start going but the the other thing I've got to do is work on the ideas for stories which I've got lots and lots of ideas for stories like literally I've got not, not so much hundreds but probably a hundred story ideas now it's actually working out how to execute them and make them entertaining or interesting or of value so the main thing is to provide value to people in, uh, in the videos that um, I produce so that's hence why I'm doing this. I want to understand what my style should be and then integrate that with a really good storytelling technique and then make the video and then upload it and provide value to you guys. So uh, yeah, that's what we're working on. And that's what I hope to leave you with today at the end of this video. I deliberately left a little blank in there to, to tease one of my buddies, James, who gave me a hard time about having a whole lot of blank video with audio playing in the background recently it was intentional i'm setting it up to do this at the end of my videos i'm going to leave a long blank section and only the ones who know will know to look and wait for the end <laughs> a bit of an easter egg on that note i should say goodbye and have a good weekend and um, i'll be sending up another video later this afternoon or tonight after i have um, followed chad's recommendations for making a good movie. Okay. Enjoy your weekend. Talk soon. Bye now.